going to be performing the hand washing experiment and you'll want to start by simply labeling your plate. So I like to use this as a straight edge. So you'll be splitting this into two halves. One that will be your treated half and one that will be your untreated half. So go ahead and label your plate with your name and your section number, or at least something that will allow you to recognize it. So I'll put my initials and section number, and anything else that you need to know what's on this plate. Maybe you want to call it your hand washing plate. From there, you'll want to label each side. So label one side your untreated side. And then you can label the other side treated. You'll begin on the untreated side, and you just want to make an impression with four fingers, having dirty hands, right? Maybe you've been out hanging out outside, and your hands are pretty nasty. So we'll make a four-fingered impression on the untreated side. You don't have to push very hard, just lightly touch the surface of the auger. And then we're going to go wash our hands. So your TA will have separated you out into groups. You're either going to use regular hand soap or antibacterial hand soap, or maybe you're going to use a hand sanitizer, maybe a name brand hand sanitizer, or maybe you'll be using the um, the generic hand sanitizer, so we'll head over there. If you're doing the hand washing experiment, then you're going to want to make sure to wash your hands for at least a minute. So we're trying for good mechanical action on this. So lots and lots of scrubbing, I know some of you definitely know. Mechanical action, trying to get these really good and clean, and you want to wash all areas on your hand and really just scrub. So get a look at the clock and just do a full minute worth of mechanical action. And then you can rinse and dry as you normally would. Try not to touch anything after you've dried your hands and go straight to your plate to do the treated side of your plate. want to make your four-fingered impression on the treated side and probably if you were really good you try not to even touch your plate before you make that impression. Alternatively, some of you may be using hand sanitizer. For hand sanitizer, you'll do the same sort of thing. Um, we actually have, today I have out two different brands. Um, one of them is just a generic hand sanitizer. The other one is Perel. So you'll just want to do the same kind of mechanical action with these, only you're not using water. So just do a, a pump or two of the hand sanitizer and then just scrub it around all over. Do the same sort of, um, same sort of action that you did with the hand washing, only you're just using the hand sanitizer. One of my very favorite students who now is an osteopathic doctor, he's a DO, he, uh, he emailed me one morning at 5 a.m. in the morning and no subject, no nothing, it was just this email that said, um, hand sanitizer, hmm, uh, I wonder where the poop goes. Um, <laughs> interesting that. But anyway, once you're done here, just sit on the treated side for this one as well. <laughs> 